afternoon, everyone. Can I invite everyone to please stand? Ayan. Happy New Year! Woo! Excited ba kayo sa ating unang uh, worship service of the year? Sino rito? First worship service mo ngayong taon nito. Nandito ko ngayon. Raise your hand. Ayan, for outside. And for all of you joining us online, welcome. And uh, good afternoon to, to everyone and Happy New Year. Pwede mong batiin. Lahat ang invite mo, tinag mo, o shinare mo yung link dyan sa comment section. And I believe we are excited to worship God because God has been faithful to us. Tama ba? Agree ba kayo? 2020 is done. But we know that He was faithful even in the year 2020. Agree ba kayo doon? Sabi nga sa Psalm 13 verse 6, I will sing to the Lord for He has been good to me. So if this is you, if this is related to you, can you please clap your hands right now? And join me in a word of prayer. Lord, thank you that we are here once again. You gathered us once again as your church, as your people, here on site and even in our own homes, wherever we are, who's watching online. Lord, thank you because we are here because we want to worship you. We worship you because you are a good God. You are faithful. You never change. You're the same yesterday and forever. Lord, we worship you this, this afternoon and be pleased with all of our faith. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's worship God. Happy New Year, church! moments in my darkest hour and the God who hears me when I'm crying out for hell when my faith is shaken and I'm all struck down and the God who sees me and the God who saves I will bless you God
from your heart. Bless. Jesus.
thank you for bringing us in this 2021, God. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord. Sing so hard. Worship and praise, oh God. 
Lord, that's the main reason why we are all here on site and even online because we want to worship you. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Oh, how gracious you are that you are welcoming us into your presence, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to express ourselves truthfully in your most holy of holies. Thank you for your grace. It has indeed been amazing. And Lord, even as we welcome this year, Lord, we want to welcome this year with our worship to you. Lord, that is our topmost item on the list for this year. We want to worship you. We will continue to worship you. Whatever happens, whatever comes our way this year, for year 2021, we are confident, we are in faith that you are an awesome God. You are faithful and you are true. You are our covenant keeper. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo! Sabay-sabay nga tayo, hindi tayo ng malalim. Tapos dahan-dahan lang. <laughs> Kasi naka-face mask kayo. Ayan. So, ang sarap lang magbigay papuri at pananapalatay sa Panginoon. Amen? And even, I believe, kahit kayo na nasa bahay nyo or sa kwarto nyo or kung nasaan man kayo, baka nasa coffee shop kayo, pero on your mobile device, you are worshiping God. You know what? God is pleased with our worship. And He's faithful to meet us whenever we come together. Amen? Amen. Again, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, Church. Woo! Pwede bang quickly sa mga on-site, tingin ka sa kaliwa, sa kanan, a high wave and say, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. At pwede ba tayo lahat sabay-sabay, talikod tayo, tingin tayo sa camera. Mag-wave tayo sa mga naka-online. Happy New Year. Ayan. Welcome to Victory. We exist to honor God and make disciples and truly we value being connected and being part of the community. Kaya po, kung first time nyo po, either here on site or online and you're not yet connected to any Victory groups or even here at Victory Church, we want to connect you. If if you are new here, kindly type lang po quickly sa comment section, new here. So, happy new here. <laughs> ayan, ayan po. So, and uh, some of our leaders and our volunteers and our church community will get in touch with you and be connected. Ayan. And of course, uh, you know what, 2020, uh, ibang klase talaga yung 2020 sa atin, tama ba? But uh, we're so excited for 2021 because, you know what, as a church and as a movement, we love coming together as a church and community to pray and to fast for five days straight. Okay, so from January 11 to January 15, we are inviting each and every one of you to join us as a church Kahit kayo po sa online, kahit po kung first time nyo, you want to know, ano yung paano mag-participate dyan? Parang gusto niya na, do connect with us. Okay, so pwede po namin kayong uh, paliwanagan. And if you want to know uh, to, or to download or get a copy of our devotional materials for this five days prayer and fasting, please visit our website, victory.org.ph slash fasting2021. Ayan, and for, uh, to know more on how we could prepare for this prayer and fasting, let's all watch this video. Every year as a church, we pray and fast at the start of the year and mid-year because we want to know God more, go deeper in the Word, and be in faith for what He will do in and through us. When we fast, we declare that we want God more than food by denying ourselves for a time. Remember, pray about the kind of fast you will undertake and commit to it ahead of time. Do not decide on a day-to-day -day basis. Ask God for grace. Together. Let's know God more and hear from Him during our prayer and fasting. Dito, excited ka na for our prayer and fasting. Kung nandito ako, nasa'y taas mo namin kamay mo kung excited ka. So 50-50 yung iba, parang hindi ko pa alam kung excited ako. And for those online, we encourage you, please join us. It's gonna be a powerful week as we encounter God. So for our tithes and offering, let's, lead, let's read from Matthew 6, 33 to 34. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. This is a very familiar verse, diba? Most of us, we've heard this 
for me, it's, it's super familiar kasi bata pa lang ako. Ito na sinasabi ng nanay ko sa akin na, oh, you seek God first in everything. Especially in the aspect of finances, pag pupunta kami church, magbibigay siya sa akin 10 pesos, 20 pesos. Eh, mabait akong anak. So, ilalagay ko sa offering, hindi ko po binubulsa. <laughs> Then, that really didn't make sense to me until nung nagtrabaho po ako. So, I was starting to earn. Pero, sabi ko, yung 10% pala ang laki, no? Pag minainus mo dun sa akin, kita mo, in your first job. So, sabi ko, hindi, maintindi naman siguro ni Lord to. So, Confession time po. Hindi po ako nagtatights the first few months na nagtatrabaho ako. Then realize ko, lagi ako inaabutan ng pecha de peligro. Parang lagi kulang yung finances ko. Then sinabi naman ng nanay ko sa akin, seek God first. So naalala ko na naman yun. Then sabi, okay God, I'll give my tight. So I'll try this. And from that very day until ngayon, I've been consistently giving my tights. And I kid you not, never po ako nagkulang starting that day. It's because I put God first. And I pray for all of us that this year, that would be our posture, that we seek God first. Seeking, seeking first means we put God in everything, and that includes our giving. When we give to Him first, we trust that the rest will be provided for. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for you are our ultimate source. And Lord, this year we declare that we will put you first in everything, even in our finances, God, and believe, God, that you will supply the rest. As we seek you first in your kingdom, Lord, everything will be added unto us. In Jesus' name, amen. So give, giving has been made easier through the various giving platforms. You may visit our website at victory.org.ph give, or you can give through the PayMaya or the GCash apps. If you're here with us on site, you can see my tag sa chairs nyo. There, that's actually a GCash QR code if you flip it. And also, our facility is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. if you wish to give through our tight drop box. God bless you as you honor him with your finances. So again, Happy New Year to all of us. Uh, we all know 2020 was a year that we will never forget. But despite of all the challenges, our Every Nation Build conferences continued as scheduled. But here's a twist. We did it online. To see the highlights of our Build conferences, let's watch this video. Every year, every nation holds a regional conference called BUILD to develop leaders, provide mission clarity, and strengthen relational connections. The BUILD conference in 2020 was held online and covered four regions, East Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and Indochina. Let's take a look at the highlights of the conferences. our BUILD 2020 Conference. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name, teach us to love people the way you do and teach us to lead people one step closer to saying yes to Jesus. May we truly be the salt and light in this season of fear, anxiety, and uncertainty. God will help us to make evangelism and making disciples as the priority of our churches. The gospel is the only hope for your nation, the only answer to all of the questions, and the only solution to all our problems. God allows those shaking in social perspective and the culture in the community, in every nation, in every city. There is a lot of shaking, but God is the one who saves. God is the one who gives peace. Thank you, Lord, that you are reminding us to endure, to continue to preach the word, no matter what challenge we may face. Are we as leaders decreasing so that people are much more, increasingly more connected to Jesus than us? While the pandemic reached the entire world, God's hand was just as unmistakable in every nation. Thank you for your heartfelt prayers and support. Through you and by God's grace, we can continue to be a blessing and witness to the nations. Let's be in faith that we will continue to see God move in every nation this year.
round of applause for that. You know, uh, again, it's a very encouraging update. No, every time that we see that God is doing a mighty work in the nations, and so, uh, yung ginagawa po ni God is hindi lang po sa pamilya natin, hindi lang sa bansa natin, but in every nation, and you get to be a part of this. Pero bang sabihin sa katabi mo kahit naka face mask ka, sabi mo sa kanya, you are a part of this. Okay, you are part of this. Even those who are online, if first time pa lang and you feel like this is your church community, you are a part of a global movement which is called Every Nation. All right? And so, again, thank you so much. And let us continue to make an impact in the world. And so, uh, again, alam ko pa ulit ulit yun na naririnig to from Kuya Roel uh, and then Ellis. But all, uh, dahil nandito na rin ako, okay, mabatiin ko na rin kayo ng. Happy New Year. Okay? Happy New Year. All right? Yay! Happy New Year. <laughs> All right. Guys, pwede kayong, uh, you can just feel comfortable, ha? okay? If you wanna clap, if you wanna comment or something. Basta hindi naman nakaka-distract, okay? But, but you know, this is, your, this is your community, okay? This is your, your place. So, baka nahihiya kayo, baka feeling mo hindi ako makapagtaas na kamay. Okay lang yan. This is God's place and this is our community as well. And so, again, 2020 has been tough for each one of us. It has been rough, okay? And an, a rough and tough is actually an understatement for, for some people. I, I know some people who had experienced a lot of loss, losing a family, uh, losing a friend, and, and so much more. And so, an uh, understatement yung, yung rough and tough. But the, the thing is, whether kung ano man yung nangyari sa year mo, whether it has been good or whether it, it has been bad, you know, the reality is we all made it to 2021. Amen? And so, if you are here, it is because of the grace of God. At, at the same time, hindi lang basta grace ni God na gusto ka niya lang buhayin, but meron kasi siyang plano para sa'yo. Naniniwala ka ba doon? Na merong reason, that's why you are alive. I am convinced that each one of us, if, if God didn't, if, if we're done, God have, could have taken us already. But for some reason, God wanted us to be here. And I believe it is for a purpose. And we're going to be talking about more of that in a while. But again, let me invite you to our prayer and fasting. This is going to be great. Okay? If para naman hindi tayo mabigla, meron ka pang one week mag-adjust, okay? Alam ko yung, yung iba sa atin, hindi pa ubos yung pagkain natin sa ref. May mga ganun ba sa inyo? Okay, kami, ang dami pa rin namin kung ano-ano dun sa ref. And so, pa, iniinit-init na lang namin, pinipili namin kung ano yung iinitin namin for today. Okay, and, and so, meron pa tayong one week para ubusin yon and to slow down so that pag prayer and fasting, we are physically ready, we are mentally ready, we are uh, spiritually ready. And for those who, uh, who are joining us online, do join us as well, okay? I, I, and, 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 and I encourage you, don't just go through it alone. Let's do it together. Find someone, okay, that you can go and, and do prayer and fasting as well, all right? And so this is going to be five weeks of talking about the awesomeness of God. And if you are ready, I'm going to go straight to the verse, which is in Exodus 3. Verse 1 to 12. And if you have a Bible, whether cell phone yan or nagdala ka talaga ng physical Bible, go ahead, open it to Exodus 3 so that we can read together. Let me read here. Sabi dito, Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, the priest of Midian. And he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. He looked, and behold, the bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. And Moses said, I will turn aside to see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called out to him of the bush, Moses, Moses, and he said, here I am. Then he said, do not come near me. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God of your father. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. I know their sufferings, and I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land to a good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And now behold, the cry of the people of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians 
oppress them. Come, I will send you to, the, to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said, who am I? That I should go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. He said, but I will be with you. And this shall be the sign for you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. Let's pray. God, I pray that, Lord, you would, your presence, Lord, Lord, we invite it here. Lord, first of all, Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, this service is for you. And so, Lord, so all of us, we have gathered here, here Lord, to encounter, to encounter you, not just to hear, Lord, uh, Lord uh, uh, not just to hear, not just to hear information, information, Lord, but to hear your transforming, your transforming words. So, so, Lord, open up our eyes, Lord, buksan mo yung puso namin, at yung, at yung, uh, at, at, that, that, that welcome yung salita mo sa puso namin, and so that we will be able to move forward with confidence that is coming from a revelation of who you are in our life. In Jesus' name, and everyone say, Amen and amen. Now, let me ask you a question if you don't mind, okay? Since I'm here, let me ask you this question. Are you willing to be interrupted? Okay? Are you willing na, I, I know sometimes, di ba, pag nag-i-start ng taon, we're, we're planning so many things uh, a few minutes before mag-start yung service. I was looking for a planner. And so, you know, kahit na yung most spontaneous na tao, kahit pa paano, nagmahilig pa rin yung magplano. Pero willing ka ba, if you have something planned, something that you're occupied, to stop it, to change your whole plan, to throw it away, and to go and attend to that something else that is calling you to go to. And, and I'll be honest, sometimes, and most of the time, I'm not, okay? So especially when you are dialed in into something, when you're focused, diba yung eto, tatapusin ko to, and then all of a sudden, someone calls you and then tells you, pwede mo bang i-drop muna yan? I, I don't know if you remember when you were young, right? Naglalaro ka, di ba? Tapos, ito na, ito na yung boss, na, yung combo na eh. Huhulihin mo na nung, nung final uh, shot, di ba? Tapos, all of a sudden, anak, pwede ka bang maghain ng... Parang, ma, wait lang. Pwede bang tapusin ko muna to? Or maybe, sa mga mag- mag-asawa, di ba? Yung di ba sinasabi sa'yo, di ba? Yung, talagang, you are in the mood. Nag-aaral ka, nagbabudget ka, naks naman talaga. Di ba? Inaalagaan mo yung anak mo. Tapos, honey, pwede ka bang magwalis? Kasi ko parang, Honey, hindi ba alam ang importante nung ginagawa ko? May, 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 may mga ganon or uh, I don't know, with you, maybe sa office, diba, may ginagawa ka and then yung boss mo, pwede, sinabihan ka lang, pwede bang pakikuha nung delivery ko sa baba? <laughs> Para nakaka-offend yun. <laughs> okay, ay, sino ba? Delivery boy ba ako? But, but the reason why I ask you that question is because, you know, Sometimes our tendency to, to not want to be interrupted makes us miss out on something that is very, very important at hand. For someone like me that I like to multitask, I like to jump and, and, and jump from one thing to another, I get easily distracted. I realize na meron siyang good side at meron siyang bad side. The good side is I don't get to miss a lot because I'm dialed into so many things, but I also miss the very moment I miss the art. I miss the details. If you're watching and you can, you're flipping from one channel to another, nami miss mo yung story. And so, a lot of times, many of us is also living life in the same way and even going through our faith in the same way. And, and some people are calling this thing, yung, yung ginagawa natin na maybe you are just going from one thing to another, they're calling it hurried sickness. And, and this thing is, is real. It's happening right now, especially in the digital age. And yung hurried sickness, it means that we're constantly depriving ourselves of the mental, physical, spiritual um, uh, uh, space that we need. Kailangan natin go, go, go. Kailangan mo mong pakinggan tong podcast na to. Kailangan mong basahin to. Kailangan mong mag-invest. Kailangan mong mag-workout. Kailangan yung alahat na lang. And then at the end of the day, you're, you're into all these things. You're thinking, if I get into all these things, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to succeed. But the thing is, someone said it, an, an author said this, that what you give your attention to, eventually you'll become. And if we're not careful, the things that we're pursuing other than God can get in the way of our growth. And one author actually said this, hurry is the greatest enemy of spiritual life in our day. Hurry can destroy our souls. 
Hurry can keep us from living well. Hurry is not just a disordered schedule. Hurry is a disordered heart. Napakasakit, no? <laughs> if you are a person in hurry, sino dito yung minsan, di ba, nakapila ka? Tapos naka, nagahanap ka constantly ng mas maikling pila. Yun. Mas maikli yan, ha? Di ba, tapos lipat ka, tapos may nakita, uy, pero bang, yung hindi ka mapala, mapanatili, you, you always want to be in a hurry. And that, that, the reason why I'm talking about hurried sickness is because there is such a thing that God's awesomeness cannot be revealed fully to us if we're always in a hurry. We, in, in the pedina, Lord, I want to I, I wanna know who you are, but I'm just going to give you five minutes. Right? And, and so, a lot of times, that's how people approach Christianity. I, I, I just want to know, sino ba si God? Gano pa kagaling si God? But I'm not going to give much of myself into these things. And here in our story, Moses, we, we find out that here in, in, first, in the first verse, Moses was actually busy. He was keeping the flock of his father-in-law. So after 40 years in the desert, now, ayun na yung ginagawa niya. Now, he is entrusted by his father-in-law, Jethro, with the flocks. And so, meron siyang asawa na. And so, ngayon, they're, they're starting a family. And then, now that they're in the desert, he has responsibility. Probably, is, uh, shepherding is not an easy job. Ma- madaming kailangan if you are shepherding. And so, that is what he was doing. And then, he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And so, these are not just any ordinary flock that he was doing, pero extra work to kasi si Jethro was a priest. And so, the flocks that he was preparing was for the sacrificial offering. So, importante yung role na ginagampanan niya. But here's the thing, what we see in, is, is God desires to reveal himself to his people. People have forgotten about Moses. Moses has been hiding and then Moses has been trying to just stay average in the desert. But you see, you know, th- that, that God doesn't want us just to, you know, float around there or to exist. The first thing that I want us to know is God desires to reveal himself to his people. He doesn't want us to be mental believers only. May mga kilala ba kayong ganun? Yung naniniwala kay God pero sa isip lang. Or mere, ano lang, mere, mere, mere knowing lang. Tapos may mga narinig ka lang story. Pero wala kang personal faith. Secondhand faith lang. God doesn't want you to just settle with that. God wants you to actually encounter Him. Can you say amen? And, and so, sabi dito, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. And so, he was going about his business. But then, one thing happened. And so, God revealed himself. God initiated. How many of you na-appreciate mo na si God nag initiate Right? Yung, yung, how many of you na nakilala mo si God na for some reason siya yung gumawa ng paraan? I, I don't know about with you, but for me, when, when I... I, I wanted to really study in UST okay? when I was in uh, high school kasi graduate ng UST yung parents ko eh. Ay, yung, yung mother ko. Eh. So yun lang yung dream, dream school ko. But hindi ako nakapasok ng UST. Bumagsak ako, sobrang lagpak. Okay? Hindi lang bagsak, eh. lumagapak. <laughs> so, but what happened was, you know, uh, I was left with a choice. Mag-aaral ba ako or mag alam mo yon mag magtatrabaho na lang or whatever magbemodeling judge lang okay um, and so i was left with that choice and so i, I yung, yung mother ko yung naghanap ng school sa akin tapos nakita niya yung university of makati it was a, a, a school na parang ha ano ano university of makati parang hindi ko pa naririnig yan kahit kailan and so sabi niya may ano doon pwede ka mag drawing drawing may arts arts din doon and so pwede ka mag-aral so sige try natin it was the school that I least wanted. But it was the school that God used to captivate my heart. It was the school that I never planned to be, but it was God's way of initiating something in my life. And how many of you, may mga moments kayong ganun sa buhay nyo? Right? I, I'm gonna elaborate even more, but pero sabi dito, He looked and behold, the bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. The bush, the burning bush, Okay, was usual because mainit sa desert, but this was something unique because the burning bush was not being consumed. But here's the thing, so many people or some people, okay, they stop there. 
and they say, "Uy, nagbe-burn yung bush, ang galing naman nun. That is a great sight." And then they just walk out. But I want us to know it doesn't the, the transformation doesn't happen with the burning bush. Are you here? Buying a Bible doesn't change your life. <laughs> Attending a service doesn't necessarily change your life. It doesn't stop there. It's just the start of the step. And so the first thing that I, when I look at this is, is what looks like an interruption can be a divine intervention if we actually pay attention. Mo- Moses was busy. But then, here's the next thing that happened. God was calling him. If Moses didn't stop, if Moses didn't actually turn aside, makikita niya kaya, magkakaroon kaya siya ng encounter with God. Siguro hindi niya makikita. Siguro, he's just gonna walk away with the burning bush uh, sight. Parang, ang galing na na. Tapos kunento niya. Pero yun lang, dun lang nag-end. And sometimes, some people go in, into church and say, oh, gabi, ang galing ng message. Oh, but they're, they're, it, it, it just stopped there. But again, don't stop there. What are the areas in your life ngayon na akala mo nandyan lang for na random, pero yun pala, God is trying to call your attention. Maybe a heartbreak. Okay? Sino, sino sa'yo napunta ka sa church dahil binasted ka? <laughs> ba? Diba? May mga ganun ba sa'yo? Huwag mo na itaas yung kamay, pero ako ganun ako. Okay? So, yung bigu ka, Lord, bakit? Nasaan ka? Diba? Tapos yun pala. And, 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 and yung iba, business had to be affected. And yun yung mga moment na, Lord, bakit nangyayari? Bakit ako may sakit? Bakit nangyayari sa, sa anak ko to, sa, sa nanay ko? And, and, and sometimes, God would allow those moments to get our attention. And this is that moment for Moses. God did something because God had a plan for Moses and a, and a plan for Israel, the, the Israelites. But then, God couldn't reveal something to someone that he was not personally having a relationship. Because that would just be business. But it says here, Moses said, I will turn aside. Can you say turn aside? Moses turned aside to see this great side where the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called to him out of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. God was calling the attention of Moses and Moses said, here I am. Ang ganda nito kasi Moses, hindi niya, pina, hindi niya inutos sa iba. Hindi niya sinabing, pwede bang may burning bush doon? Pwede bang puntahan mo, boy? Pwede bang parang hindi ko kasi, parang hindi ko trip puntahan eh. Tapos kwento mo na lang sa akin. Moses had the personal decision. And here's the thing, Moses called to, uh, God called to Moses. There are certain things that God can't do in your life if you are not that near to Him. Some of you, you're asking, Lord, anong plano mo sa akin for 2020? Or 2021 na pala? Lord, anong plano mo sa akin? Lord, ikakasal na ba ako this year? Ang dami ko nakitang engaged, married sa timeline ko. Lord, kailan ako? May mga ganun ba sa inyo? Lord, eto na ba yung breakthrough ko this year sa business? Sa career ko, Lord, magta-travel na ba ako? But you see, you won't hear God's voice if you're not into, in tune with God in the first place. And so, Moses had to go and get near to God's presence so that he can hear from God. And while all of this is happening, the backdrop is there was so much intense pain in, 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 in Egypt. Nagihirap yung mga Hebrews. But you see, God had to to allow Moses, to let Moses know that Moses, I am a holy God. And the second thing that I want to point is that God wants us to understand that He is a holy God. Exodus 3 verse 5, and He said, Do not come near me. Take your sandals off your feet for the place on which you're standing is holy God. Moses, stop. I'm, I'm asking you to go near, pero Moses, you have to let go of some things. Of, of, of the dirtiest part in your life because I'm trying to welcome you into my place. Moses, I'm not just any other God, which is at that time, and dami kasing mga Diyos. And some of those gods, some people can just barge in into their, into their temples and they just, kahit immoral yung nagawa nila and whatever they're wearing and they just can, can, can give whatever they want and they're gonna leave. But Moses, 
And God, God that was, was telling Moses, Moses, I'm not any of those gods, Moses. I know I'm coming here, I'm being personal, but don't forget that I'm also a holy God. We're friends, but at the same time, Moses, I'm a fire and I'm a consuming one. I'm a purifying fire. I'm a holy fire. I'm a refiner. And so there are things that you have to let go muna, Moses. Take off mo muna yung sandals mo. And this tells us that we can't just bring any, anything we want into God's presence. We can't go to God's presence and just say, Lord, pwede bang gandala ko pa rin yung mentality na to? Lord, pwede bang, pwede bang hindi ko i-let go muna to? And so I want to ask this question to everyone today and for those who are, uh, who are with us in, uh, in, in, sa online. Ano yung mga bagay na kailangan mong i-let go? Na alam mong si God, pinapalet go ka na. Ano yung mga bagay na alam mong tapos na, 2021 na, five years ago na yan, dala mo pa rin. I hope that we will be willing to take off the unnecessary. The sandals was as, as uh, unnecessary to the presence of God because why would you need something to protect you from a wound or from dirt when everything around you is clean and protected already? And so, hindi na needed yung sandals. Ano yung mga bagay, maybe mga ways, mga paraan, na, alam mo yun, Lord, baka pwede namang you and this can go together, pero alam mong hindi eh. Because if you keep holding on to this, you're gonna get consumed as well, my friend. Okay? Now, all of this is to set up Moses. Okay, ang, ang dami ko nang ano sanabi, no? intro lang po yun. Okay lang ba yun? <laughs> set up lang to lahat. Set up lang to because yung gusto talagang the win ni God is i-introduce niya yung sarili niya which is actually the final point which is God has not forgotten His covenant and control over our lives. This is the game changer na for Moses. And so Moses heard, okay, there's a bush and then lumapit si Moses and then here I am and say, so, what's happening? And then here are the few words that changed Moses' life. Sabi niya, and he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face where he was afraid to look at God. When I was looking at this verse, nagtatanong ko sa sarili, bakit natakot si Moses? Don't you, can't you look at the verse? It's parang, but the reaction ng God si Moses? So, sabi ni God, I am the God of your father, Jacob, Abraham. Wow, ano nangyari ba? But natakot si Moses. Why? Because of the words that God was trying to communicate to Moses. First, sabi niya, I am the God. It means I am Elohim. I am the supreme one. I am the mighty one. But I'm not just the one that stands out of all the gods. I am the God of your father. And I am the God of Abraham. And when Moses started to hear the words Abraham, the names Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Moses can, can recall all the stories. Ha! Huh? You are the God who made a covenant to Abraham, who called Abraham out of nowhere and made Abraham into someone. Tapos may asawa siya, which is Sarah, that you opened her, uh, her womb in the age of 99 and you, 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 you made this Abraham into, you protected him and you made him go to war, but yet there is protection. And then now he's thinking, God of Abraham is the... I, I, Moses was blown away because he's thinking, He's the God of all, the, 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 the God who made all of those things. Lord, wow, you are this God and you're speaking to me. Lord, that's why he hid his face and he was afraid to look God because he understood, Lord, my gap tayo, Lord. You are the God of all ages. You are a multi-generation God. You are a covenant-keeping God. You are the God who lives and fulfills your promises and you're speaking to a nobody. To a man who had a very ugly past. And you're, you're calling me, Lord, bakit ako? Ang dami kong issues sa buhay. May mga ganun ba moment? And you say to God, Lord, bakit ako? <laughs> I remember last year, <laughs> When, when so many things happen, that, that's my question. Lord, bakit ako? <laughs> bakit? Pwede, pwede naman ito. Pwede naman ito. Si Kuya Roel, di ba? <laughs> Yung naman na, nanunuro ka na lang. Pwede naman. Ba't ba, 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 ako, Lord? 
Pero gusto lang negate. I want to do it, and I, I remember that, that unforgettable conversation with my Victor Group leader before, si Kuya Kaloy. Sabi ko, Kuya Kaloy, hindi ko alam kung ready ako dun sa pinapagawa ni Lord eh. Sabi niya, James, magaling ka ba? Hindi. Yun na nga eh. Sabi niya, God wants to use the shameful things of this world to shame the wise. Masakit yun ah. Kasi foolish ako. <laughs> Pero tama nga naman. <laughs> and sometimes, that's, that's really how God wants to go about things. God doesn't always use the elite. God wants to use the simple ones. And so if you feel like you're disqualified like Moses, potential kang gamitin ni God. Amen? Okay, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, gagamitin ka ni God this 2021. Okay? Parang iba na nanakot eh. Parang gagamitin ka ni God. <laughs> okay. But here's what I, I want to encourage us today. Here in this story, Moses had a few reference. God was telling Moses, Moses, you, I am the God of your father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But the, you know what the Bible tells us today? The Bible tells us in Hebrews, we are not just looking at Abraham, at Isaac, and Jacob. We're looking at a great cloud of witness. You're looking at, you are, I am the God of Elijah. I am the God of Elisha. I am the God of Malachi. I am the God of Matthew. I am the God of Mark. I am the God of Paul. I am not just the God of these Bible characters that lived in history. I am the God of Pastor Lee. I am the God of Pastor Mark. If you are looking at some of our pastors and you're, you're imagining, but ang grabe yung mga nangyayari sa buhay na to. Every time Bishop Jure preaches, parang, Lord, grabe naman yung faith nito. But I am the God of Jure. I am the God of Manny, of Steve. I am the God of all of the people in faith that you are looking up to. And I am the same God who is by your side. And that's why no matter what you face, I'm not going to leave you. What I started, I will bring to completion. Moses, hindi kita iiwan, hindi, kita, hindi ko iiwan yung Israelites kasi Moses, nag-promise ako kay Abraham. Ako yung God doon. Ang dami ng generations yung nag-pass, pero Moses, hindi ako nakakalimot. What I'm doing, I will bring this to completion. And so I want to remind us, our God is alive and He has not forgotten His promises towards His people. Mukha mang ang dami nangyayari sa bansa natin, sa buhay natin, pero hindi po nakakalimot yung Panginoon natin. Amen? How many of you ex excited ka for 2021? Because God is not done yet. Come on, can, can we give God some praise in this place? Come on, God is about to still do many, many things in our lives. He is the same God who has been doing miracles in the past and He can still do miracles today in our lives. Wala pong imposible sa Panginoon. Yung, yung, yung nakikita po natin sa Bible, hindi lang po yung storya. Totoo po, buhay po yung Panginoon natin. And so let us continue to believe. And that's why the, that verse also says, let us run with endurance. No matter what we're facing, let us continue to move forward. And as we end, one of the things that God also revealed to Moses was this. Sabi niya Moses, ay sabi ni God kay Moses, Moses, I have seen the affliction of my people. I have heard their crying. I know their suffering. And in the same way for you, this is also the same thing. I know what you're going through. I know the confusion. I know the pain. I know the hate. I know the suffering, I, and I have come down to deliver them out of the hands of Egyptians, to bring them up out of the land to a good and broad land. A land flowing with milk and honey to the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Parasites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. I, I still have a plan, Moses. Nakalimutan na ng mga tao, pero ako hindi ako nakakalimut. And now behold, the cry of the people of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppress them. My friends, minsan may mga bagay na inaalaw si God, ang hirap intindihin. Minsan, Lord, bakit unjust yun ah? But parang okay pa siya pa yung nabibless. But no, God has a timing on certain things. 
may mga fi- feeling ka na, Lord, bakit ito, yung kaklase ko, ito yung hindi nag-aaral dati, tapos siya pa yung nagtatravel, siya pa yung multi-millionaire. <laughs> Pero may timing si God, huwag kang, mag- huwag kang mag-alala. May ginagawa si God, may niluluto lang si God. Darating yan sa tamang panahon. Come, I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Now, that's a turnaround. <laughs> Because God is saying, I have heard, I have, I know, I heard their cry, and I will deliver, but come here. <laughs> I can do all the work, God is saying, but I want to involve you. I want to do something in this nation that I can do alone, but for some reason, God wants us to be part of transformation. God wants us to be part. God doesn't want us to just sit down. Amen? And so my question is, ready ka ba for 2021? Ready ka bang hindi lang makita yung mga ginagawa ni God, pero ready ka bang maging parte nung ginagawa ni God? That's why sabi ni God, who am I? Sabi ni Moses, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel? Pero sabi ni Moses, ni God kay Moses, Moses, it's not about you. It's not about your degree. It's not about kung magaling ka ba mag-English. It's not about that, Moses. It's about me. I will be with you. I will change this. And this shall be the sign for you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. And that's an interesting promise. Kasi sinasabi ni God kay Moses, you know what? Sabi ni Moses, Lord, ano yung sign? Gusto mo ng sign? Gawin mo muna. Tapos kapag nangyari na, yun yung sign. That's an interesting sign, tama ba? And for many of us, Lord, paano ko malalaman kung will mo ba ito? Gawin mo muna. Follow me. And you know what? When this happens, that's the sign for you. That I'm here. And I will never leave you. And not forsake you. But again, the question is, are you willing to be interrupted? Are you willing to change course? Because all of this happened when Moses heard the bush, I uh, heard God from the bush, turned aside, and then abandoned the shepherding, abandoned everything he heard from God. Now today, we don't have a burning bush, but we surely have the cross of Jesus Christ, with that which tells us, Paul, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. First to the Jew, then to the Gentile. What changed my life was not a burning bush moment. The story that I was telling uh, a moment ago in University of Makati, it was the preaching of the gospel. Jesus crucified our sins being taken away. I heard that and then that changed my life. That brought me near to God. That made me want to accept Him, Lord. Sige. And that brought me to where I am today. And the same thing is being given to us today. We have God's message. God's powerful news inviting us. That's why today we can be in comfort and insecurity. Knowing that God will be with us no matter what happens. Amen. I want us all to bow down our heads. To take this time to hear from God. Lord, you are here. Lord, on and on and on in Scripture, Lord, we see that you are a personal God who speaks to your people. And Lord, in this room and online, Lord, we have different stories. Just like Moses had a different story. But Lord, you know how to speak to us personally and to comfort us. And so Lord, open our ears and open our eyes. You're drawing us near to you. Lord, I am dumerecho lang kami sa taon na to. By our own strength, by our own wits. Lord, you want us to see you first. And Lord, as you're speaking to your people, Or tell us, ano yung mga bagay na kailangan naming tanggalin? Just like that sandals off of our feet. 
that, we, that is not anymore useful in your presence. Lord, tell us so that we'll be able to leave it behind and enter in your holy presence. Lord, we want to be close to you this year. And Lord, alam namin, hindi lang yun available kapag magpa-fasting kami. Available yun even ngayon pa lang. Araw-araw, yung presence mo is calling us, is drawing near to us. And so God, we give our plans to you. And we want to hear from you. Maraming maraming salamat because you are here today. And you're comforting your people. You have a plan for us. And it's always a good plan. No matter how it looks. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. I want everyone to, I want to invite everyone to stand up. And I'm going to ask Kuya Rowell to end our time together. God is here, amen. God has spoken to each and every one of us that He desires to reveal Himself to His people. And that God is a holy God. And even as we have prayed for that prayer to surrender everything to our holy God, things that needs to be let go, I feel like praying once again to a certain group of people. You know what? The scripture that we just heard being preached earlier says that the great I am the self-existent, the self-sufficient, the immutable and changing God. You know what? He came down here on earth. He became man in Jesus Christ. To live a life that we should have lived. Die the death that we should have died in our place. And in three days, he rose again, proving that he is the son of God. Offering forgiveness of sins and salvation to those who come to him. Maybe this is you. Even if you're here on site, if I could just encourage you to bow your heads and close your eyes. If this is you, feel free to raise your hands and be recognized. If that's you online, it is no accident. He wants to reveal himself to you consistently and faithfully. Join me in this word of prayer. Lord, thank you for you are the great I am. Lord, we want to surrender my life to you. Forgive me of all my sins for you are a holy God and thank you God thank you Jesus for coming down here on earth to die for my sins to forgive my sins to redeem me for bringing me into the light and from darkness into light thank you for now I accept you as my Lord and Savior and I'm making this decision and I'm making this my own decision and I'm making this my own faith I receive you in Jesus name Amen. Amen. If that is you, we just want to congratulate you. We just want to say thank you. Can we just clap our hands to God and celebrate? So if you just type quickly on the comment section, I prayed. We just want to connect with you and explain to you very quickly and very briefly the decision and the prayer that you have made. Amen. Are you blessed with our service this afternoon? Yes. Come on, let's give God another praise. Thank you, Lord, for this service. Thank you for the word that you have preached. We thank you, God, for your presence. We honor you. We are so excited for this year, 2021, for you are our awesome God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for joining us. God bless you and see you again next week.